We're at High Park, where the cherry blossoms have started to bloom. They're not fully blossomed yet. I can show you some stuff behind me. There's so many people around. You see, you can hardly see any of the action. But that's one of them there. So yeah, even though I live in this area, I never actually go check out the cherry blossoms. I don't think this is the big one here. Look at all these people who have left their homes, traveled from wherever in the GTA to come and look at these cherry blossoms. So pretty. Pretty but not full bloom yet. Hey, just shooting some extra footage here for the show. I'm at Spoke Club today uh, and so using the space to just do some additional stuff for the, my talk show and Mika, my Digital Caribbean Lifestyle talk show. Long day, it's just one of those days where you know you try to get stuff done. Um, but I had an issue with my website today and so it's just that stuff pops up. It's a growing pain. It's, it's a good issue to have in the sense that there's a, a lot going to the site and it's um, getting overloaded a little bit. But um, I just have to keep adjusting things and reacting to these kind of things. So I'm a little tired. It's the start of a week. Just had a break on the weekend technically, but I've got just um, a lot, a lot to do where it's prepping for Tuesday when I release the episode. So I physically have to get the episode from our editor uh, and upload it and I can't put it out until a certain time. So things have to be scheduled and then I'm always paranoid about that. Like I was saying on my Facebook live chat the other day. So it's that just there. Um, I'm starting another influencer partnership this week and so there's some commitments I have to do there. Um, so I'm grateful, I'm grateful that I'm busy, but um, when you're a new entrepreneur, a lifestyle entrepreneur, it's, it's certainly challenging. It has its, its moments where I'm just like, you know what, I'm tired. I'm really tired, but if I want to take control of my life and, and, and have this, this show as, as a representation of me and, and you know, forward my brand, I gotta put in the work. And I really have to remind myself constantly that it's a sacrifice and it's difficult, but it's not impossible. It's just hard and I just need to, you know, develop some boundaries definitely because the more I accomplish, the more in demand I'm becoming. Um, and I need to develop some boundaries and limitations on how and where I'm spending my time because I find sometimes I'm doing things that are, are time wasting and I need to understand how to best delegate and how to do that cheaply because even though I am growing at a fast rate, I'm not, you know, a, a millionaire. I can't necessarily hire all the people I would like to to do some of these projects. So it's just one of those days where I'm like, you know what? I'm tired, but I'm not about to just to complain. Um, I chose this this path and I just have to, to deal with it. So yeah, that's me today. But it's a beautiful space. I love the Spoke Club. So I'm gonna just have some food and then quickly do some, some cut in, some extra video. And I have some people coming to tape some stuff with me today. So it'll be good. We'll be fine. Everything will always be fine. Things will work out. Yes. Here we go. This is so exciting. I'm at uh, the national headquarters for the Girl Guides of Canada, spending some time today with the... Semi in Toronto Pathfinder! Yeah! Okay, so I gotta know, I gotta know about Pathfinders. Why are you a Pathfinder? Tell me, who wants to say something? What do you, what, why are you a member? Because oh. I like to have fun with different Friends. friends. Yeah. yeah, friends, bonding, oh, friendship. That. What else? What else? For all the like adventures we do and the new people we meet. It's just and fun. all the fun we have. Yeah, Agreed. Yeah, friends we make. <laughs> that seems to be a trend. That seems to be the trend a lot. Anybody else? What do you think? Friends we make. Um, I like that uh, we could like we like meet different people and I really like the meetings that we get to plan yeah. and the camps we get to do and the songs we get to sing. Oh my, I'm gonna have to hear a few songs later, perhaps. Any other takers? What do you think? 
the camping experience is amazing, being outdoors. Yeah. I didn't get to go to a lot of camps when I, I, I don't know what happened. I did a lot of local camps because, like I said, I was in the Caribbean. And then there was one time we almost got to go to Canada and then I just didn't go. <laughs> but don't do that. You should always go. <laughs> always participate. Okay, so we're going to go make some candles now or do some Snapchat filters and stuff. So let's do it. Yeah. At Humber College, Guelph Humber, for the Emerge Conference, the media rehab going on. I'm here with Vanessa. She's hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Are you I am well, thank you. Oh. Excited to be here and to just chat a little bit mm. about what is my thing called? From breaking news to catching views. Yep, that's correct. From breaking news to catching views. Okay. <laughs> So um, we're just gonna try and go set up some stuff um, for the presentation. Hi everyone, hello, hello. So when did it, what time you started? Nine o'clock? Nine o'clock, yeah, we've had um, sessions on media rehab, regaining trust back into the media all day, um, just having a really great, provocative, innovative discussion. Yes. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna walk over. Everybody, welcome to Guelph Humber, and we're at the Emerge Conference. Say what's up, everybody. What is going on? We're just going to do a little bit of a, a chat here, talking about from breaking news to catching views, literally. So let me close this down. And get uh, hey, I am checking out Bicom's monthly sank a set. It's a very Montreal thing, and they're really trying to bring it into the Toronto vernacular, Toronto culture, to just hang out a little bit, have some drinks. So um, it's just cash here in their office. So Corey's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, why didn't you tell me you're coming? I, I know, we live I was literally Did you leave the right hall. from home? No, yeah. I did. Okay. So did you? No, I was... Okay, well then that's fine. Yes, I would not have Then so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll walk around a little bit, but I, I wait, I wanted to say hi to Christina. Hi. What's up? <laughs> She's like, what up? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Patrice, one of my interns, is here as well. Hi, hi. darling. Okay, she just did a chop. Isn't her hair beautiful? Look at this. So you had braids before you had relaxer? I did. I had relaxer. Yeah. For like years since like I was 10. Yes. And then after that, I was just not impressed with my hair. It was always looking so so. And like last year, I was like, I'm done with these two textures. Bam. Yeah. That's yeah. the way to do it. And so what do you do now? How are so you So this right this now, this is a wash and go. Yeah. And what if I use like kinky curly custard? And the mixed checks leave in so conditioner. Just wet, wash it wet, put a little wet mixture of soap, and then you just go section by section. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so jealous. My ends are so straight. Yeah. So I gotta. But not yet. Not right. yet. <laughs> not yet. Yay, I'm glad you could come with me. So what's in this office? Like, what, what is in here? Yeah. So right now, I'm going to take a little for And then it ends as well. Very cool. Okay. And then you, you're, everybody's your office. Like, yeah, there's about eight of us. So. so what do we need to do with these, the Sanka sets? Like, what, is there a thing that we're supposed to be saying? They're first. Eat and drink and be married. <laughs> and so in Montreal, people do this. They'll say after work, want to do a second set. And they know what it means. And so, but it's like five at seven? Five to seven. Five to seven. It's like equi equivalent of happy hour. Got it. See? Got it. Well, it's a hair day. We're at Jasma. Again, you know I had a small weave in before, and I took it out, and then I put it back in, and then I take it out, and I'm... <laughs> It's out again, and Claudette did my hair today. Hi, what's going on? Nothing much. This is what she said to me, like just casually. Oh, looks as though we're gonna have to start doing some color on your hairline. Like she just dropped that because of the grays. Is it that bad? Yeah, just to cover your hairline so it won't show. I'm not ready, I wasn't ready for that. Susie, can you imagine? <laughs> she just know. like said that. Yes. Sometimes you just need a little <laughs> color. A little <laughs> color. <laughs> it's not that extra. Look at this. Look at um. Can you see? There's one gray. There's one prominent. See? See? 
it's there. Anyway, just here. Zach is here, ready for summer. Hola. Hola. Okay, just wanted you to see the after. So I had to come check out my friend Jelani Morgan's piece, his exhibit here for the Scotiabank Contact Photography Festival. And this is an annual festival that happens in Toronto. And they choose people, individuals, that kind of thing that reflects and depicts some part of our country and, and, and the goings on in our country. And so uh, this is Jelani's work behind me here. I'm gonna walk down and show you, but I'm so proud of him. He's actually Vincentian, Vincentian heritage. His parents are, I believe. I know his mom is, I don't know about the dad. But big up, big up to Jelani. I'll go show you some of the things here right now. It say, committed to picturing the social and cultural landscape of Toronto as it changes. The subjects range from individuals, mass public assemblies in the city. Morgan's ever-increasing archive of Black Toronto performs as a rich collection of monuments in the making. Look at this. We got some really, really iconic moments here from Black Lives, Black Lives Matter Toronto. This one, this was the the, the sit-in or the lay-in by Young Dundas, I believe. Where's the one? There's one where um, some of the leaders of the movement here are having this discussion with the premier. Look at this. Look at that. I love, love this one. Because I haven't been doing it. Very, very pretty. Are you and Alex? Yeah. Made by my sister. Yeah. Are you excited? Feel pumped? Ready to go? Uh, no, still a li little bit more to go, but very excited for sure. Yeah, and all your family and friends are here. Say hi, everyone. Wait, 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 wait. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi, hi. Awesome, awesome. How are you? How are you? How is it going? <laughs> Hi guys. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Yay. And here is the sister who made the cake. Amazing. Amazing. All right, looking ahead to fall, autumn, winter, as a matter of fact, Echo Shoes has their, their, their preview of the upcoming season. Of course, they're always a couple seasons ahead, but I'm really liking all the pieces, the South 9, South 10, some of the, the other things that they have right now, and also the backpack. So I'll just show you what, we're, what I'm looking at, what I'm noticing, and yeah, let's take a look. 